With Android 13 now available on Google Pixels, it's time to take a look at how the next big update will look when it rolls out to other devices, starting with one of my low-key favourite phones of the past year, the Oppo Find X5 Pro. Oppo's ColorOS 13 is coming this month, and while it doesn't totally overhaul the look and feel of the software, there are a bunch of very welcome changes that make for a much better experience, including some things borrowed from OnePlus. I'm Alex Dobie for XDA, and I've spent the past week playing with some early builds of ColorOS 13 on the Find X5 Pro. Take a sec to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll jump into what's new. So at the heart of ColorOS 13 is the new aquamorphic design language. That's a long word that basically means the UI is supposed to flow more naturally, like water. And you can see that in the animations, especially while multitasking, in Oppo's own first-party apps, and in the notification shade, where this new dynamic layout draws inspiration from stock Android. It's a little difficult to describe exactly how this animation system feels different to what came before, but I think it's best to say there's just less harshness to them. The jump from the home screen to the recent apps menu, for example, has this deck of cards slowly emerging into view, accompanied by a flutter of app icons. In the clock app, the clock face itself gently fades into view with this soft coloured halo, and certain sliders like the brightness control are punctuated with gentle haptic cues and this neat little rotating sun icon. There's a lot of attention to detail here that really gives the impression of a slick and polished UI. Over in the ColorOS launcher there are a few new features drawing inspiration from iOS, like larger folders to give you quicker access to up to 9 apps at a time. It takes up a 2x2 chunk on your home screen so it's a bit more efficient in terms of space. And there are a couple of redesigned clock widgets too, bringing this in line with the ColorOS 13 lock screen design. Another new addition to the home screen comes via Oppo's closer integration with OnePlus. The widget shelf, long present in Oxygen OS, has been brought over to ColorOS in the form of this iOS-like widget panel. It's designed to let you build a separate, customizable panel of tiles that's always accessible with a swipe down at the launcher. And while there's not a whole lot to see here just yet, with only a handful of panels in this beta build, it does look like Oppo is planning to build this out much more in future. And the widget shelf is joined by another veteran OnePlus feature, Zen Mode. This is kind of an enforced digital timeout, where for a set time limit like 20 minutes, your phone can only perform basic tasks like phone calls, with all the higher functions being shut off to help you disconnect from digital distractions. And there's some OnePlus influence in the always on display as well, with the canvas AOD feature letting you show neon highlights from your favourite photos on the always on display. And OnePlus's Insight AOD has been ported across as well, giving you a visual representation of just how many times you've unlocked your phone and how much time you've spent gawping at your screen. New from the Oppo side, you've got the Home AOD, which is definitely a little different. It's supposed to highlight the effects of climate change by showing different animations of animals based on real-world temperature changes and how this affects their habitats. Both neat and also kind of depressing, anyway you could choose between a polar bear, a fish or some penguins and I guess watch things get progressively worse for them over the course of however long you're using this phone. In a similar vein, there's a new live wallpaper which can help you visualise your screen on time. The Blossom Live Wallpaper grows this abstract flower as you approach your screen time limit, which then withers and dies as you go over it, in perhaps the most apt visual metaphor for what happens to your soul with too much Twitter time. There are a couple of other AOD designs that aren't live in this beta build just yet, the Spotify Music AOD, so you've always got playback controls at your fingertips, and food delivery for apps like Zomato and Swiggy, which is exclusive to India. Elsewhere, Oppo is also introducing new privacy-conscious features for screenshots in the form of auto-pixelation for names and profile pictures. It supports WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger at launch and basically gives you a one-button solution to obscuring personal details, perfect for those top-secret chats with confidential sources. And finally, perhaps my favourite feature, Multi-Screen Connect. We've seen similar features before from Samsung and Huawei, basically giving you full control of your phone from a connected PC running Windows 10 and up. You can have up to three windows of apps running at once and easily transfer files and photos between devices by dragging and dropping. I've played with this quite a lot during my time with ColorOS 13 and it's a great way to juggle multiple devices without becoming too distracted, basically making your phone an extension of your desktop PC. And if you have Oppo's latest Pad Air tablet, it also works with that device. So that's ColorOS 13. It'll be launching this month on the Find X5 series before rolling out to other Oppo devices later in 2022. This isn't a huge revolutionary change, but there's more than enough here to make it a worthwhile upgrade, whether you're using it on an Oppo phone like this or a OnePlus device through the very similar Oxygen OS 13. Check out our next video for a little background on how Oxygen OS has changed over the past few years, including its merger with ColorOS last year. 
and take a look at our review of Android 13 itself to find out what's new in the latest version of Android. That's going to do it for now. Let us know what you think of ColorOS 13 down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.